My name is Ricky, Ricky Gray. I'm here working on right way heating and cooling. I just started recently, I say about six to seven months ago. And yeah, it's been a journey for me. I just, um, 2017, I did like a little change up of my life. I went and got my GD real quick. Then from there I went to college and that's when I got into like that summer, I got into um, good futures and so on. And it's been a, it's been a journey so far. Um, it was like the the summertime. Um, my dad was like, "Yeah, there's this program called Good Futures." He was trying to um, get a job with Google at the time, and I had gotten their number and I gave him a call and they gave me an interview. I had a few interviews after that, and that's how I got into it. Features. What I liked about it is we were able to experience different things. Like we went out to a museum and we helped clean out a museum and we did so. And we went to the, the um, therapeutic ranch. We would be farmers for a day. And we went to the mission garden and we're able to be gardeners for a day and learn about a very uh, vario plants and like how like everything came together. Um, they helped me um, learn how to properly do like interviews, set up my resume and so on. And that, that was a good portion. Like they really prepped me to get ready for work. And that, that's what I liked about it. I get like a lot of hands-on training and I use a lot of tools and I use my hands. So I, I'm familiar on like I could be a little fast with us taking out a screw or something like that because I already have training from that from youth restoration. But it helped me um, get the opportunity to, to get my own vehicle, to get um, my insurance going and to have money in my pocket. So like say if I'm hungry after school or something, like get me a little something to eat. And like I said before, like if I ever want to build my own tabletop, um, refurbish so old furniture and that sort, that's something that youth restoration put into my hands for me to do. And it's, it's something I'll, I'll know for life. So that's, that's, what, that's the big portion I got out of it. So the idea popped up in my head is from my father. He was a, a installer, he was a lead man. And so I was, um, he, he told me about being a service tech and I was going to college at the time and I was I was going for HVAC though to get my certification and and heating cooling and refrigeration um, so I went through that it was took about a year and from there I learned like experiences like say checking a capacitor I needed something to do and like so that's what I was like I'm gonna be a, a service tech because it only took a year um, to get my certificate and I didn't want to stay in school for that long um, but during my school like I found out like I really liked it. I felt like um, college was easier than high school. That's just to me though. So now what I'm doing is uh, I'm considered a maintenance tech. Um, so I go out and I go service like HVAC units and say like, it's like a vehicle. The more you maintain it, the, the longer it lasts. And that's what we go out with. So we see anything out of the ordinary, we bring it up to the customers. What I'll say to them is just put your mind to it, work for it. And anything is possible out here. Don't let nobody um, bring you down. It's all up to you to feel how you want to feel. And if you come in feeling great and going out and doing what you got to do, then it's going to get done. Just know life is what you make it.